No, it's all right. I know everything and it doesn't make any difference. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Madison, you were probably very young. Anyone can make a mistake. What? No apologies, no explanations. You see, I'll only be in town a short while, and uh, a sadder but wiser girl for me. Could you please make your selection and leave? I have. What do you want to take out? The librarian. Shh. Quiet, please. The librarian. You're not listening, Marion. Look. Marion. Marbles. Six Steelies, eight Aggies, a dozen Pee Wees, and one great big glassy with an American flag in the middle. I think I'll drop it. No! Shh. Madam Librarian. Oh, what can I do, my dear? To catch your ear, I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian, Marion, heaven help us if the library caught on fire and the volunteer host brigade men had to whisper the news to Marion, Madam Librarian. Oh, what can I say, my dear, to make it clear? I need you badly, badly, Madam Librarian, Marion. If I stumbled and I busted my whatchamacallit, I could lie on your floor unnoticed till my body had turned to Rian, Madam Librarian. Now in the moonlight, a man could sing it in the moonlight. And a fellow would know that his darling had heard every word of his song with the moonlight helping along. But when I try in here to tell you, dear, I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian, Marion, it's a long lost cause. I can never win, for the civilized world accepts as unforgivable sin any talking out loud with any librarian such as Marion. Madam Librarian.